Hey y'all, I was going to take a few minutes this evening and talk to you about clucking. Now a cluck is a percussive downstroke that banjo players will use playing old time uh, claw hammer banjo. And essentially what a cluck sounds like is this. The closest thing that I can really compare it to is like a pinch harmonic on an electric guitar um, because there's like a particular region of the banjo neck that that will cluck the best and I mean you can still cluck over the head but it's like a different pitch you can Actually, that is the pinch harmonic that would be there but you kind of want to deaden that to get that cluck but I mean it the harmonic works too and a lot of people will play the first string and make it do that but I will sometimes play the first second and third Now, to get that, that sounds annoying, but I'll show you how you can apply it here in just a minute. To make that, to make your banjo make that noise, or my, anyway for me, the way I make my banjo make that noise, you can play around with your finger positioning and stuff, but I will actually kind of line the tip of my nail that I use and my other fingers and you can do this with your regular nail too you just have to kind of make sure that all three of your nails are gonna contact the string kind of at the same time I mean not like exactly the same time and it's kind of like a downward diagonal like swoop so as you're like holding a chord dragging like all three of my fingers across the string starting with my ring finger and basically so now that I've done that over and over and over in your ear let me show you how you can kind of use it um, like kind of like gives the offbeat like mandolin chop kind of feel um, and it's just a neat little tool to put in your your bag of tricks uh, as a banjo player and it, it's like you got to use them tastefully because I, I mean me personally I don't I don't like the constant clucking in, in the rhythm and stuff but like throwing it in tastefully in places is is good and it adds to the entire dynamics of, of how you're playing sounds depending on where you put them um, and the, like I said the particular region that you can get it is around the 15th to the 17th 19th fret is one of the most powerful ones and then as you heard you can move around and find all kinds of different ones once you get that positioning of your uh, hand down with the three fingers kind of hitting at the same time you can make this thing cluck just about <laughs> You lose it about right 
here, but anywhere over the head, about right here to here, you can generate a cluck doing that. Now, that's just the way I do it. It might not work for everybody, but that's how I've learned how to do it. And the that's a lot. I've seen a lot of people asking about how to get a cluck on command, and I just I've got used to not floating my index finger. I've noticed some people, I did it when I first started, you tend to have a floating index finger and play. And sometimes I still do that and will float my index. I mean, it's just more comfortable. But whenever I'm going into cluck, I'll... But anyway, that's Cluckin' 101. Um, hopefully that'll help somebody and uh, that'll formally answer the question of how to generate a cluck. <laughs> Y'all have a good evening.